In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best base defense in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that I put out every single day right here on the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best base defense, in my personal opinion, for Madden 22. And that's going to come to us out of the nickel 335 slash nickel 335 wide that can be found in the 4-6 defensive playbook. Now, I just put out my full defensive game plan for the 46 defensive playbook. And 4-6 is so good. It's got nickel 335, 35 wide, nickel normal, big nickel over G, dollar 326, as well as all 4-4 split and all of these great bear formations this year so if you want to learn my entire 46 defense i'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video you can get the full defensive system for just 15 all right guys so what we're talking about today is a coverage defense that i like to use or just a base uh, a base coverage or base defense that you can use out of the 335 and the play we're going to be going over is going to be the cover four show too but we're going to add a little twist to it what we're going to do is we're going to go into our coaching settings and we're going to go ahead and put our ball in air defense to play ball. And really important, we're going to put base align on. Base align is going to make this defense really unique and really, really special. We're then going to go ahead and we're going to put our option defense onto conservative. We're going to put our strip ball and tackling on balance. And then real quick, our curl flats. We're going to set those. Um, we're actually going to set those to uh, zero or five yards zero or five yards and then with our flats we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave those on default and our hooks we're going to leave on default so all we've done is we've just changed those curl flat zones to five zero or even ten depending on what you want to do and what you want to take away okay so we're going to come out of nickel three three five cover four drop but we're going to audible down to the cover four show two and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to globally uh, or we're going to globally pinch our defense. We're going to do that by hitting R1 and down on the left joystick. You're going to see here that it is going to pinch our entire defense. And the only adjustment that we need to make to this is we're just going to put our defensive end on the right side of the screen into a bluff blitz, just like this. And then we're going to take this blitzing linebacker, the uh, Will Redmond right here, and we're just going to put him into a, uh, a vertical hook zone just like this and then from there we're just going to simply user this guy right here and what you're going to see is depending on what kind of coverage or defense they're running these quarter flat zones are going to do really good at taking away those quick underneath routes um, i find that they do the best job and the other thing that i really like about this is whenever you go to the quarter flat zone uh out of this you'll find that these these quarter flats are really unique this year they're not like i said they're not necessarily going to stop everything by any means and 22 has very difficulty high level of difficulty for defense but what i have found is when you have these two yellow zones and that quarter flat on that left side of the field if the opponent wants to attack the flats you're going to see that these quarter flats will actually get out there and at least make a tackle they won't necessarily always stop it but they'll make a tackle now a little pro tip as far as using this defense, something that you can do is you can go ahead and go to that cover four show two, press your defense, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take this uh, guy, Kadir Holman, and we're going to drop him into a, uh, or just shade our coverage down, just like this. So we, we've created hard flats now, and now what you're going to see is we've got hard flats on both sides of the field. We've got a couple yellow zones on that bunch side, so we're really looking to cover that right side of the bunch. And if you take a look at this flat zone, now that guy has outside leverage, and as you can see, he's able to make a play on the tight ends. I find this to be one of the most effective uh, coverages, base coverages against Gun Bunch. Another reason why I find this in particular defense so effective is let's say that they want to run a corner route. This is where the base align and the press comes in. So when you base align and when you press out of this, what you're going to find is these outside quarter zones um, will tend to do a pretty decent job against a corner route, especially from compression. So you see here the R1 receiver. If you just watch him, you're going to see pass lead this to the left, and you see how that guy breaks on the ball and is able to swat that to the ground. 
I found that this is the best base defense for Gun Bunch in terms of just basic coverage. It's very effective and just basically playing a bend but don't break approach to the defense. Now, obviously, if they were in a crossing route or something, you need to watch that with your user. That's why we uh, left or we heavily covered the bunch side so that your user could be free in case he needed to cover a crossing route. But other than that, they're going to have to check down and they're going to have to take the underneath intermediate routes over the middle which is obviously where you can bait them with your user. I want to thank you for watching this video. And also, like I said, if you want to get my full 4-6 defensive game plan, there is a link to the defensive guide in the description of this video. All you got to do is go down to the description, click that link. It'll take you right to my website where you'll be able to pick up the guide for just 15 bucks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later.